And we are back now with a look at the updated design for the new YMCA that's going to be built in North Buffalo. The building will be at 1984 Elmwood Avenue. You'll see here it's on an empty plot of land that's on Elmwood just north of Hurdle, and it will replace the YMCA branches in North Buffalo and town of Tonawanda. Two on your side's Danielle Church shows us new renderings and has the nonprofit's plea to the public to help pay for it. For the first time, a look at the renderings for the North Buffalo YMCA. It's modeled after the Y's facility in Lockport, which opened in 2018. You'll see a lot of similarity in the renderings for the new building. This Lockport location where we are right now is our newest facility and it has an open concept. It has space where we're able to serve families of intergenerational all ages. And so the new facility is improving upon this location. It's gonna be a state of the art, the most modern location in the city of Buffalo. The 65,000 square foot building will be located at Elmwood and Hurdle Avenues and serve about 15,000 people a year. It will have a pool, a rock climbing wall, fitness center, basketball court, and a track. This location will also provide child care to working families, help with food insecurities, and offer both educational and health and wellness programs for the public. The only problem is the YMCA still needs to meet a $30 million goal. So far, they have about $12 million. There has been some delay in this project. Um, the cost of everything has increased, and we need the community support. So the timeline on, on this continues to change. Um, coming out of a pandemic, a lot of nonprofits have, have seen some strains on the finances. So we're going to need the community support. It's, again, not just the facility, but an opportunity to serve the needs of our community for years and years to come. All right, you heard her say it there. This has already been delayed. Money is an issue, right? You got to have the money mm -hmm. to build the place. How do people who want to help? This is a nonprofit after all. How do, how do they help get this construction going? Well, Michael, the simplest answer is that they need you guys all to donate. The nonprofit needs help, as Michael said, and you can do so by going to the YMCA's website. But businesses or corporations can also contact them. Uh, you can contact Danielle Roberts, who I talked to in the story. Uh, her email will be on our website at WGRZ.com for those who are interested in helping to make this a come to fruition. Yeah, it's nice to see the renderings. I mean, it's an I know, impressive it's, looking it, place. There's it looks down. very, very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Danielle, thank you.